What's up guys? Today we're going to be going over the Bad Dog Tools drill bits and I'm going to be sharing my personal story with you guys about how I got scammed and how other people have gotten scammed. I'm not the type of person who really goes out of their way to blow up on social media, um, ranting and, and all this. I've never written a review in my life, okay? This is my very first time reviewing something. I've never been treated to this level of disrespect in my life. This has to be heard by you guys to know to stay away from this company. This company is completely just taking advantage of me and their customer service is honestly piss poor. I've never dealt with, with people so rude and disrespectful um, from any company before. They simply don't care. They talk over you, they disrespect you, and it's just not right. Do yourself a favor, guys. Stay away from this company because if you give them their $100 for the drill bits, not only are you losing out on your money, but you're losing out on your own respect. And because that's just something that this company does not give you, they don't care about their customers. Now, this brand may seem familiar to you guys if you've been to any trade shows or fairs like the Big E, you've probably seen them online. Uh, they market these products as the best drill bits on the market and nothing could compare to them. Now, I will admit they do put on a really good show at the fair. Um, I got mine at the Big E, but sad to say guys, I gotta tell you the truth here that they're not all what it's cracked up to be. And I'm here today to share my story with you and hopefully you'll learn from this and stay away from this company because it's really in both quality of the product and more importantly, the customer service, you're losing. So to kick off the story guys, um, I saw these at the Big E, you probably see them at trade shows and they put on a really good show in front of you, drilling through thick steel, uh, car rotors and everything. So they look really nice. And that's why you buy them, they hook you into it. I'm a tradesman, I own my own company, which is why I know how to deal with customer service and treat people with respect. I own a successful company. So anyway, I bought these bits for my job. Taking my first job, I use them exactly how they advertise, drilling through metal, they want high RPMs, which contradicts everything that you know about uh, ordinary metal bits. This is DeWalt bit, I forget the model of it, but it's the highest grade one they do for metal. Drilling through metal, you're supposed to go slow and lubricant. And with this company, they say otherwise. I said, all right, I don't know why one company is going against what everyone else is saying, but whatever. Regardless, I do it as a scribe. I break two bits instantly, one burns out, the other one uh, chips apart, gets dull. I send them in to get replacements. And in order to do that, you have to pay to ship them out, but you also have to include money in the envelope to get them shipped back to you. Not a big deal, not the end of the world. Let's just get these replaced. Get my bits back a month later. It took bad dogs an entire month to get my bits back to me. And I even paid for the shipping. I get my bits back and one of them, the small one, they replaced fully because the whole carbine tip blew apart. The other one, they ended up just sharpening. And the problem with that is they did a really bad job doing that, okay? Um, and the reason is because it's still all chattered at the, at the tip. And more importantly, the tip of the blade is not centered with the center of the bit itself. So I don't know how you can expect to drill straight hole. So anyway, I'm not happy with their products overall. The quality is just, it's not there. They don't perform as advertised. And you know, they broke with the first time using it. And again, whatever, I have other drill bits. They have lifetime guarantee, so I call them up, say, guys, help me out. And the lady on the phone, I didn't get her name, but by seeing all the other awful reviews about this company online, I think her name is Ann. She said she's the owner of the company. She was not happy to begin with. She had an attitude. And, you know, I'm a well-rounded businessman. I'm college educated, and I know how to talk to people. I calmly explained to her, the problem with this drill bit, can you send me another one? She wouldn't send me another one unless I sent this one back to her. And I said, look, I already went through this whole process. I just took this out of the envelope and it's already broken. Like they didn't do a good job fixing it. I don't want to go through this again. I don't want to ship it out. I don't want to have to pay for it. And I don't want to have to wait another month. Can you please just send me another bit? I'll send you pictures. And she wouldn't do it. She basically told me too bad, too sad. You want it, then uh, you're gonna have to pay for it. And it was just really rude. It was like, they're taking advantage of me as a customer. And it's like, she didn't care. She got very rude, disrespectful, talked over me, cut me off, wouldn't let me finish a sentence, talked to me in a very condescending tone. And I honestly, I was dumbfounded by it. I've never been treated like this before, ever, with any company. Then she called me out and said, sir, do you have a wife? Are you married? Because I don't think you are. 
And I was just like taken aback. I'm like, excuse me? She ended up hanging up the phone. Call her back, answers in a snotty attitude. Hello, James. And I said, let me speak to your supervisor. And that's when I learned that she's the owner of the company. And I said, that was shocking. And she continues, why? Because I'm a woman? You don't think a woman could run a company? Do you think just because I'm a woman you could win over me or some, I don't even know what she's saying. And I said, no, I'm shocked because I don't know how your company is alive with you being the owner with your customer service. So now I'm stuck. And you know, here's the deal. For somebody to treat you that way, they didn't start the company. And there's no way she built a company this way with this customer service. So it's really sad to say because I'm sure this company at one time had really good customer service back in 1988 and they held that promise. The guy who started this company or woman, sorry, and um, I'm sure they really cared about their customers and they did everything they could and, and offer great customer service. But the truth is this woman, Anne, does not. Um, and there's other reviews online. We'll go over them in a second, but other people are complaining about her. And it's just sad because they're not living up to the company name. So to me, there, there's no way that she started this off. She probably walked into it or got handed down to her. Who knows, who cares? The point of the matter is they don't care about you. They just want your money. Stay away from them. Biggest mistake of my life was buying these. I wish I could get a refund. I'd even uh, reverse payment on my credit card if I could, but I paid cash. So I'm kind of stuck with these. They basically told me to screw off and that's where we left off. So, so let's take a look here at these reviews on Google regarding this company. The first guy, Tim says, worst product I've ever bought. Drillets do not work as advertised, hundred dollar waste. Okay, Tim, can't agree more. The response from the owner, Tim, you get a money back guarantee and a lifetime warranty. I don't know how I get my money back guarantee, but I would really like to do that. Anna Joe Cat says, we bought them at a trade show a few months ago. They said they're guaranteed for life. Um, you can't use them in a cordless drill, even though they demonstrate them using it in a cordless drill, blah, blah, blah. Response by the owner was, we're here to help, not be threatened. Your bits are guaranteed for life. And basically tries to justify it. You could drill through almost anything, which is a dead lie and a joke. Here we go from Steven. Do not under any circumstances fall for these people's foozy products. Saw them at the Big E with their drill bits. They show them drilling through metal and very thick material so easily like no other tool I've seen. I'm a mechanic, so I thought it was a great product that I needed for my shop. Spent $106 for the first time. I used the bits bend in half, probably because they overheated because they suck. If I'm not refunded, I am doing a chargeback. Absolutely do not buy from the company and warn anyone you know not to either. Craftsman drill bits work 100 times better. This is a joke of an item. I agree, the DeWalt ones, in my experience, are way better. I wish I could charge them back, but unfortunately I paid cash, so I'm kind of stuck with them. Okay, so then Steven writes again, what a hilarious response trying to blame me for your failure of a product. You shut Facebook posts and reviews off your company. Why? Because everyone who posts, what a scam you are, but you can't hide Google. I'm a mechanic 40 years plus, Trying to say, I don't know how to use a drill bit is just flat out comical. I will 100% be returning refunding. Good for you, Steven. I couldn't agree with him more because he's absolutely right. They did shut off the reviews on Facebook and on their company. You can't see them. And it, the list just goes on. All right, so this is the one I could most, most relate to. This is from Mike. Horrible customer service. I bought the full set of drill bits at a show in December. Did not use them until last week. I was unable to drill a hole through a small steel plate with the three small drill bits. They went dull immediately. I called the company to get advice what I did wrong, asked for replacements. The rep, Jessica, not very friendly, immediately asked when I bought them. She said it's over 60 days, but as a courtesy, they'll refund the money if I send them back. Sent an email to have the supervisor call. They never did. Called today, talked to Ann. She said she was the owner. She was very rude and said that Jessica did the right thing. It was over 60 days and not their problem that I just used them a week ago. She said something about just because she's a female doesn't mean I can get over on them. She got worse, would not let me talk and said this conversation is over and hung up. That is exactly what happened to me. I will never buy anything from this company again because of their customer service. Not sure what to do. If I send them back, I might not get my money back and not have the drills either. Mike, I couldn't agree with you more. This is the same thing that happened to me. Absolute horrible customer service. And you know, it's a disgrace to their company because I'm sure whoever started this company cannot be Ann because she clearly does not know how to run a business properly and can't offer a good customer service. But it's just sad to say, because I bet this company was really good at one time and now they're trash.
So anyway, guys, you get the idea. I mean, the list just goes on and on here and it's just bad review after bad review. And yeah, there are people who had great success with other products. Um, it seems to be the drill bits are their biggest problem and they promote these the most, which is really hysterical because they absolutely suck. But the biggest issue here, guys, is the customer service. I mean, they don't treat you like you matter. And the fact of the matter is they don't care about you. Do yourself a favor and don't buy products from this company. When something happens, they're not on your side and they don't have your back. All they care about is taking your money at the fair and being done with you. Like I said, I'm sure back in the day, whoever started this company, it was different. And now whoever's taking it over now is doing a horrible thing. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they run out of business. Anyway, guys, that wraps up my review on this product. Hope you found it helpful and uh, hope you stay away from them because they will take advantage of you. All right, thanks for watching. And I'm gonna zoom in on this for you guys, okay? When you look at this one compared to another bit, which is made by DeWalt, the DeWalt bit has a smaller tip on the front for drilling out the pilot hole, and then it goes to the wider, and then it starts cutting. And when you feel it, it's sharp to the touch, okay? Then you can kind of feel the sharp edge that runs all the way down the bit. And you can see how tight the spirals are together, all right? This feels very good quality, okay? If you look at the bad dog bit, you have one blade at the very tip. I'm guessing this is some sort of carbon tip blade or whatever. I don't know what it's made out of. But regardless, if you look at the design of the two, you could clearly see the difference. The only sharp part of this is the very tip. There's no smaller tip for the pilot hole and the spiral going down isn't sharp at all. So the only thing doing the work here is basically the tip. Now this DeWalt blade is the best drill bit that DeWalt makes, okay? And I even asked the guy at Lowe's, it's the best one that they carry. Are there better drill bits than this out? I'm sure there are. But just for a good comparison, this is DeWalt's number one metal bit. This is the bit that I use for the job, okay? This exact bit. I had to drill 20 holes through a steel I-beam. One bit. It's still just as sharp as when I started. 